Hello everyone, welcome to this lecture and in this lecture we are going to talk about the licensing. And the topic is going to be licensing on checkpoint firewall. Now this is going to be a brief introduction on the licensing on, on checkpoint firewalls. Uh, later on Biswajit is going to take a deep dive section wherein he is going to discuss the various types of licensing models. And uh, if I talk ab about the licensing um, in, in a brief manner, we do have two types of licensing. One is the central licensing model and the second one. Um, so this is the first one and the second one is the individual licensing. Now in the central licensing model what happens as it says it's centrally managed so this is installed on the sms now all the licenses will be attached so the um you can say all the licenses will be attached to the IP address of the SMS right and then from the SMS you can attach or detach the licenses accordingly on to the managed gateways so this model is basically uh, more uh, flexible in in the sense uh, now if you look at the individual licensing what happens you will attach uh, the uh, the licenses here directly on the ip address of the gateways Right. What will happen here is if tomorrow your IP address of the gateway changes, then you will have a problem uh, reassigning the license onto the new IP address side. Right? But while in, in the uh, case where you have the central licensing, you can just simply detach that license, change the IP address of that uh, gateway and then again attach back the license on the gateway. Now to manage this licensing and all, you have a separate application um, inside the smart console which is called the smart update. Yeah, so uh, while we are working on the labs the best part is that you get a plug and play license from checkpoint. So the license used in the lab is called plug and play license, which is basically valid for 15 days. And you can also use the same license. Apart from that, you do have the evaluation license which is valid for 30 days and another one would be your perpetual license which is like you can say lifetime license once you activate this it is there for the device for lifetime right and then you have the subscription based license so how this subscription based license works is it works on the uh, per per blade wise right so you have the for example you have the anti bot blade you have a separate license for that you activate that license for that particular device or you have the url filtering 
right you are filtering blade you activate uh, you purchase the license for that uh, particular blade and you activate it um, and so on and so forth right so that is the uh, a brief overview of the licensing let's move on to the console and um, let's activate the um, plug and play license which is of 15 days for our lab and also i'll walk through uh, the different uh, options that you have in the smart update and how to locate this application of smart update right so let me move on to my smart console which is here and this is the log from the previous uh, uh, lab now to open the smart console um, or, or the smart update basically we are inside the smart console uh, if you go into the gateways let me show you this you can see right now it's not activated now to open the smart update you click on this burger sign here and then you go to the manage and license package and click on ok here this will basically open the smart update yeah it says manage and licensing so um, you click on that and this will basically open the uh, smart update client now here you see the uh, package management package repository license and contract uh, repository everything here now you can go to license and contracts here and then uh, right click here and get the license here now you can see the trial license is already activated if you see get license now this will basically uh, expire in on 16th of november so this is already um uh, kind of uh, activated the plug and play license and on the checkpoint if uh, i do the same thing i can see the get license and if it's not already activated this will be uh, activated the plug and play so for this one it's already activated now if you want to attach a license if you you click on this uh, you have the repository here i think this one is the license repository yeah it is already uh, enabled so it should be like this now you want to see the repository what all license you have so in our case we don't have any type of license because we don't have the evaluation we don't have the subscription based we don't have the perpetual right but in case if you had some uh, it would be shown here and then from here you could uh, right click and add license um, I, I mean once you have it this is how to add it like once you have it you can just click on here attach license and then basically select the license but you don't have right now right now in order to add the license you have to right click here add license and then you have three ways to add the license either you log into the um, user center from here and uh, second one is that you download a file from the user center and upload it here and then you have the manual uh, option as well you just enter the details of the license and uh, then you go on and right click on that license and attach or right click on that um, uh, firewall and attach here as well now to detach you can also have the option to detach the license and that is how you do the uh, firewall um, i mean the license update and um, detach and attach uh, procedures from the uh, smart update client now you do have these three options here as well the add license add license from the user center add license from the manual uh, i mean manually and as well as uh, license from the file so you do have these three options as well here yeah so that's all i want to show here in the license and contracts and if you go to package management if you want to pull the latest packages you can also uh, right click on that sms uh, or the checkpoint firewall and get data here so you will see all the blades that are enabled or the license um, if you have perpetual if you have subscription it it will show you here if i um, i mean get the uh, data from the checkpoint as well let's wait it's getting the data now you can see here yeah so you have the data from the checkpoint uh, gateway as well now you can uh, move on to uh, the license and contracts and then you can manage the license as well so yeah so that's all for this section now if you see here it's still showing not activated that is the uh, that is because of the reason that we are using the plug and play license and that will uh, eventually expire after 15 days and if you um, use a evaluation license or any other type of license then only this status will be uh, shown as activated right so um, don't worry if you see this as not not activated once you are using the plug and play now if if, if you go here and uh, if you have not seen the prompt which says uh, 
wait a sec which says once you open the update smart update because uh, this plug and play license will also apply to the smart console as well so from the day you start the lab from there uh, until the next 15 days you will be able to use this product right so this applies to both the sms as well as the gateway okay uh, also if you click on this uh, not activated uh, sign here and it will take you to this device and license information of that particular um, I mean gateway or the SMS. Now it will show you all the license um, status, right? I mean the blades, uh, whether they are available to use or not and um, and the expiration date. So you can see uh, with the plug and play license, you can um, try all the blades for the 15 for the first 15 days, right? So um, I mean, that's a really handy thing that the checkpoint is providing. So that you can experience the uh, features of the next gen firewall right um, so that's how you can check the status of your um, licensing and all if the same thing works on the sms as well so if i click on the sms and if i click on the not activated sign here it will open the same device and license information and the same thing goes here because on the sms you will have will not have the blades that you have on the firewall right so you can see you can have the monitoring you have can have the smart event compliance and logging and status which is already these two are activated you can activate these three as well yeah so that's all for the licensing and um, um, update section right so see you in the next video bye bye